It is very late here now. It's 1.39 a.m. It's the early, uh, early hours of the morning here of the 19th of March. Going into day two of the lockdown of the coronavirus. I am filming with my cell phone so do forgive the image quality but it's important that I capture this. I just happen to be on the balcony. There are people in like incubation suits walking down the street. They are cleaning the street. Wow. They are disinfecting the whole street. Spraying it with some kind of Soap or foam. These are the new measures the condominium is taking. Condominium where I live. The gym is closed, the commune area is closed. The outside area over here is closed. Until the 31st of March. And the swimming pool is also closed? Swimming pool? Closed? closed. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So the condominium is taking a lot of measures against COVID-19 on this day, 22nd of March. Uh, as you saw in the previous shot, people are also required not to face each other. These are the new measures the condominium is taking to further social distancing or to enforce social distancing. Foot markings so people that do not face each other as well as a COVID warning. This common area is still open and there are people sitting here. There's hand sanitizer almost everywhere. Take a little bit of that. I've touched some doorknobs, elevator buttons, door handles. These are all risky. Food delivery companies are booming in Bangkok and Thailand right now. Just take a look, there's one two, three, and last night I must have counted almost 10 parked out here. I've come out today for two reasons. Number one, to come and get some fresh air. I know some people are going to argue that I should be inside, self-isolating. Well, I live inside a condominium and as you know a lot of the condominiums here in Bangkok are full of people and Lumpini Park isn't. Also think it's good to get some exercise as well as some sunlight. I think it's very important that we find a balance between self-isolating and keeping fit and healthy. I think being cooped up in your apartment, wherever you stay, watching Netflix is fine, as long as that's balanced off with a little bit of this. Even in Bangkok, crow chasing a pigeon, and it's a beautiful day here on the 22nd of March, 2020. I've come outside today for two reasons. First reason is to get the, the lungs working, keep the lung health up. COVID-19 is a respiratory virus. So it only makes sense to keep our cardiovascular systems healthy as well as our lung health tip-top magoo. Basic protective measures against the COVID-19 virus. BMA temporarily closed sport and basketball court until 12th April 2020 to prevent infection spread. Please enjoy Lumpini Park for another exercise. So basketball courts here at Lumpini Park are closed, but 
the BMA, the Bangkok Metropolitan Authority, suggesting that uh, the park is free and open for use. Damn, there's lots of crows here. We're living in strange times, ladies and gentlemen. The world is changing very quickly, as you already know. I think it's very important that we and our families do not fight this change, but that we learn to adapt and not only survive, but thrive and be healthy through this difficult time. I want to share some thoughts and facts. Number one, the COVID virus is not like the influenza virus. You have the influenza virus and you have the coronavirus or COVID-19 virus. These are two different viruses. Coronavirus uh, seemingly being uh, more infectious than the influenza virus, more contagious as we've noticed an exponential growth in the number of cases around the world. They may share symptoms, but they are different viruses. And these symptoms range from mild to severe and include a fever, cough, and difficulty breathing. Again, COVID-19 is a respiratory virus. Hand sanitizer with at least a 60% alcohol solution is recommended, as alcohol has been proven to kill the coronavirus. Next, as a society, we must wash our hands every single time before we eat. Because if the virus is on our hands, we will touch our food and the food will then enter our bodies and we will get sick. Moreover, we should also be training our kids to be washing their hands before they eat. Remember, you might have the coronavirus and you don't even know it. Symptoms may only show up 14 days after you have been infected. Therefore, it is very important that if you cough or sneeze, you cough or sneeze into a tissue paper and dispose of that into a dirt bin or into designated areas. For example, Bangkok has in some areas deployed special dirt bins or dust bins, waste bins just for masks. Then onto the great debate of masks. We've heard a lot of mixed messages from professionals all around the world. Uh, many professionals suggest that yes, they do provide some protection, um, but not, but do not guarantee 100% protection um, if you do wear a mask and want to protect yourself from the coronavirus. And with that being said, I think if that mask can provide 10, 20 or maybe 30% more protection, I'll take that. Number two, a lot of people don't get that there is more of a social responsibility that we have now during the coronavirus. And what many people don't realize is, is that wearing a mask might actually be the responsible thing to do. As I've mentioned, you might be infected with the virus, which means that if you wear a mask, you are being socially responsible. Because if you cough, if you sneeze, or if some fluid uh, comes out of your nose or mouth and is suspended into the air somebody can breathe it in and someone can get infected with the virus if you are infected with a coronavirus some scientists described our cell phones as a petri dish where all sorts of bacteria from things that we touch throughout the day inevitably end up on our cell phones therefore it is very important to regularly wash your hands again use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer the Thai government has officially taken drastic measures to prevent the spread of COVID-19. As of today, the 22nd of March 2020, they have ordered the closure or shutdown of over 26 different types of establishments. And I'm going to read the descriptions of all the establishments that are going to have to close from today the 22nd of March until the 12th of April. I'm going to read them to you now. Number one, restaurants. Eatery, eateries have been told not to entertain diners, though takeaway is allowed. Hotel restaurants will only be allowed to cater to hotel guests, but not outside diners. Number two, shopping malls. All shopping malls will be closed with the exception of supermarkets, pharmacies and shops selling consumer goods and restaurants for takeouts only. Number three, dining sections of convenience stores are to close. Number four, markets and flea markets except those selling perishable goods, dried fruit, takeaway food, pet food, 
basic necessities and pharmacies can stay open. Number five, barber shops and beauty salons are closed. Number six, tattoo and piercing shops closed. Number seven, skating rinks, rollerblading arenas and similar venues. Number eight, amusement parks or theme parks, bowling or gaming arcades. If you liked the awesome gaming arcade at MBK Shopping Center, sorry it's closed until the 12th of April. Number nine, gaming and internet cafes. Number 10, golf courses and driving ranges closed. Number 11, public pools or similar venues. Number 12, cockfighting rings. Let me read number 12 again. Cockfighting rings are closed. Number 13, amulet trading markets and centers. Number 14, trade fair and exhibition centers, conference centers and galleries. Number 15, all educational institutes and tutorial schools. So all schools, all universities, all tutoring centers will be closed and must be closed until the 12th of April. Number 16, weight loss centers and cosmetic clinics. Number 17, health service centers such as spas, traditional and beauty massage outlets. That's crazy. There are so many people dependent on income at massage outlets. Closed until the 12th of April. Number, number 18, pet grooming or spa shops and pet hotels are closed. 19, massage parlors. 20, baths and saunas closed. 21, theaters and cinemas. So no movies, no live shows until the 12th of April. Number 22, all fitness centers, that's all gyms are closed. Number 23, pubs, bars and similar venues are closed until the 12th of April. Number 24, boxing stadiums and boxing training gyms, which means no more Muay Thai. Damn! Which also brings up another question, UFC fans. Will Tony versus Khabib happen next month? We'll see. Number 25, all sports venues are closed. And finally, number 26, horse racing courses closed until the 12th of April 2020. Violators will face a year in jail and or a fine of 100,000 baht. Once again, links to all of the sources of this information can be found in the description of this video. We are living in very strange times. So I ventured out of my condo for two reasons today. Number one, to head to Lumpini Park for some fresh air to get the lungs expanding. That was the first reason. The second reason is I need to go and stock up on some basic necessities at one of the supermarkets, which is going to be very interesting to document. So let's go. I'm here at Foodland, quite a popular 24 hour supermarket. It's open and still looks pretty normal. I don't need to buy meat. There is meat to be bought here, but I don't need meat. We have bought two weeks of food. All I need is coffee, tea, and some oats, and a coffee creamer. Still lots of noodles on the shelf. So chamomile and Earl Grey tea. are very normal here and orderly. Cool to see. Let's pay and let's go. Hello. You have bag. Yes. I do. I do have a bag. I know you. Thank you. Hello. Can you check my temperature? Yeah. Oh. Quite standard in Bangkok now yeah. to have your temperature checked. 45, yeah. How much? 45. 35? Yeah. That's good, thank good. you. Yeah, good food land experience. Things seemed orderly, 
shelves all seem stocked yeah good good stuff Bangkok good stuff I've arrived here at Icon Siam and it looks closed. There's a barrier here. You can't enter from the side. Let's have a look if you can enter from the front of the mall. Maybe they're only using one entrance so that they can take the temperature of everyone coming in. Let's have a look is open there are people inside health screening wow the whole Sukhothai market downstairs here or traditional Thai market floating market downstairs here is closed hello what is open? What, sh what shops are open in uh, Icon? The supermarket over there. The supermarket? Yes. And the other shops? Louis Vuitton? No, only the and 7-Eleven. Oh wow, so only the supermarket and 7-Eleven. Yes. And the pharmacies upstairs? No. All closed. Yes. Gyms closed, cinema yes. closed. Crazy. Mm -hmm. These are very strange times, hey? Yes. Very strange. Okay, thank you and good luck. See you. Only the 7-Eleven behind me at the entrance of Icon Siam and the supermarket over here is currently open. None of the pharmacies upstairs or any of the shops are open. Very quiet, very orderly. The shelves are full of stock in the second supermarket as well. There is a variety of meats, quite a lot of stock here actually at the supermarket here at Icon Siam. Fruit. It is impossible to access Icon Siam. The only shop that is open is the supermarket and 7-Eleven. Here's an inspector. So that's it. That's the end of that. Crazy, crazy times. Alright, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed the content, please remember to subscribe for more. I plan to no longer explore any places uh, in Bangkok to all my subscribers and to everyone else who watches this video around the world good luck be strong stay healthy and remember stay away from busy places self-isolate the next month to two months are very critical to lessening the spread of COVID-19 again thank you for watching remember to subscribe and I'll see you all after the lockdown <laughs>